Okay, my dudes, oh, what is up? Today, we're gonna teach you guys how to make your Beyblades glow in the dark to go from something like this into something like this. As you guys can see, it is right here. This is Valkyrie. We've done some shenanigans to it and it is glowing up. It does look a little bit messy, but I'm gonna teach you guys how you can do this to your Beyblades as well. Okay, my dude. So we're gonna show you guys how you can do this with your Beyblades with a few little things that you may actually need. Now, to start off, before we get into the paints or anything like that, the first thing that you are going to need is a UV light. This is what you need to make it all go. I don't know if it will show it in the light right here, but if you do this on here, this is how you get it to actually start to glow up. Now, once you turn off the lights, that's when you start to make it glow. It looks crazy insane. Now, we have Beyblade parts that actually already light up. Now, I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna zoom out, and I'm gonna show you this. Now, as you guys can see, they look normal here, correct? I've got some paint there, don't see that one just yet. I'm gonna show you what happens once I turn the light off on this is just normal parts, normal TT parts. I've actually got some Hasbro, I think mean, these are Pro Series or these, yeah, these are actually the Pro Series of Hasbro as well. So I'm gonna show you guys what actually happens once, whoopsie, once we actually turn the lights off with some of the Beyblades that we already have. And don't worry, I'm gonna show you how you can do this as well. Let me just get these lights off. Okay guys, there it is. As you can see, some of these Beyblades already glow, which is absolutely epic. Just look how cool that looks. Look at that. Look at this part right here from Achilles. That is the sword, absolutely insane. That was green two seconds ago. Now it's like a luminous yellow. It's absolutely epic. White literally is so bright. Look at that. It's so cool, guys. This is one that actually doesn't really do anything. This is the one that we actually put some of the paints on. Look at the difference. Look at the difference, guys. Holy moly, we go and make. See, you don't have to do all of these parts here. You can just do some of the other parts, like on the side there. Like if you guys can, see, you can look at the paints all over my hand. You can actually do this where it only literally gl glows up like here as well. So cool. I'll just show you here real quick some of these Beyblades that light up. This one not so great, but even this, look how bright that is. That is absolutely epic. All right, guys, so lights are back on now and they're not glowing because the magic UV light is not on. When it's on, I've got a big one right here. I've got like a big giant one that's going across the whole of the table here. This is a small one that I can actually just show you real quick. Looks really, really cool. You can't really see it too much in the light, but I'm gonna show you guys now how we can get this effect on our Beyblade. Now, like I said, you don't gotta make it look this messy, but this is just quickly just to show you, you could just put it on certain parts and make it look cool. So let me just put these Beyblades right here to the side. And I've actually got a tester Beyblade, which I do wanna show you guys right here. These are actually parts that don't glow at the moment, but I'm gonna show you how cool they're gonna look with a few things. Now, I'm gonna show you guys these real quick. These are like, I think these are face paint ones, yeah. So these are like face paint, glow up. Look, glow me up, man. These are really, really awesome. This is something you can just do really quick. This is what I actually done on here. You guys can see it gets real messy in there. And uh, it's cool, but it's really fast as well. And you can actually easily just take it off. It did look, you can see right there, it does little get messed up. But um, as you guys can see, these are what you need. I'm gonna show you guys what they are right here. So just some paint glow. Let me make sure you guys can see that. Camera focus, there it is. Just paint glow, glow me up. UV paint stick, right, UV. That is what it is, man. Um, also, there is other things we can actually get, which I'm gonna show you as well. Now, if you guys are actually part of the Twitter crew, you guys know we love to paint like little miniatures and stuff, and I actually use these paints already. So you guys can see here, fluorescent paints. These are some of the paints I actually use already. Let me see if I can actually get them to the line. See that? Like, they look so cool. Once you actually put these on things, it looks amazing, by the way. All right, so we're gonna do like, 
I'll say probably like half of this in uh, these ones and then maybe half of it in the other one as well. So we're going to just walk you through and how we do this and then we're going to show you the results at the end. So here we go. We've got like five different colors here. I'm thinking to myself, let's just start off with this. I'm going to try and make this Beyblade here look crazy. Let's just make it look crazy. I'll do like loads of different parts. And it's literally this simple, guys. Just watch this. Now these why these ones are really cool. Like they are kind of messy, but at the same time, you can easily clean this stuff off if you actually want. So it's all good. We can actually make this one look kind of crazy. Like we can put like yellows on the outside and then we can actually put like some different colors on the insides as well. In fact, do you know what I'm gonna do guys? What I'm actually gonna do is actually, yeah, actually, no, actually I've got a plan. I'm gonna do this like this and then I'll turn it off and we can actually see it as well, which is gonna make it look even more crazy. Trust me on this, guys. Should I go around? I'm thinking to myself, let's do a half and a half. So half yellow there. Let's go half orange on the other side. I'm just thinking crazy right now, guys. Um, hopefully this looks good when it spins. We are going to be doing some Beyblade battles at the ends with this as well. So do not worry. We're going to make these uh, light up the stadium. I actually got one of my cool stadiums that we haven't used for a long time as well, which actually should light up uh, pretty cool too. Um, green. Do I want to get some green in there? We could get some green in here somewhere. I say let's put the green. Oh, it looks like my fingers already. Let's put the green on the snake. Yeah, that will look kind of cool, I suppose. Hopefully, I can uh, make it look a little bit better with some of the actual paint. So you guys can see how it does get kind of messy with these right here. But then what I'm going to show you is even another cooler trick with these. And uh, for that, what I am actually going to do is we're actually going to turn the light out and we're gonna show you guys how we do the rest as well. Okay, dude, so this is what we've got so far. You guys can see that right there. Where is the light? There's a little bit of light there. That looks cool, right? That looks cool already, and that is just with them little marker paints, as you guys can see. Looks absolute, look how cool that looks. Yo, all right, now this is where it actually starts to get really cool. So let me just zoom out a little bit right here. You guys can see I've got a little bit of paper here and we're gonna get some of the paints now. Look, look at that guys. Look how much it just crazily glows up. Now, what we can do is we can kind of get maybe a different color. This is the, what color is this? This is yellow. You guys can see yellow right here. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of yellow, put it on the paper. Not too much, you don't need to waste too much of this paint. Then what we can do, obviously get a paintbrush and I'm thinking to myself, let's put some of this actually in here. So then that way it mixes, I suppose when it spins, it, will, it should look kind of cool. Now realistically, kind of, if you're gonna paint this, you are gonna want it to dry. We're just doing this because we're doing a video and we're gonna show you guys, but if you are gonna be doing this, Definitely, maybe let it dry as well, which uh, will help it uh, not get all over the place like R. So there it is already. You guys can see, I'm thinking to myself, let's do some yellow on here where we've actually got some of that just to make the yellow look a little bit more bolder, I suppose, on the outside. Look how much that's glowing up now. See, so that's just that. Now we need to get this, just start dabbing that all over there. This should actually go on real, real nice. Look, <laughs> I love this, guys. Trust me, if you guys ain't a part of the Twitter crew, you guys can see some of the uh, painting I've actually done with uh, all of our miniatures and stuff like that. We'd have made it look real cool. All right, so make sure you have a little bit of tissue close by so you can uh, clean your paintbrush off look at that my hands are all messy man all right just get all that off right there and then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get that orange color look how much look how bright it is it's so cool i love this paint guys i absolutely love this paint all right so now what i'm gonna do is i'm thinking to myself first of all let's get that orange let's make the orange a lot more brighter on the sides here whoa 
Wow, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, well, you can definitely see that the, uh, the paint is a lot more brighter. Like, so much more brighter, guys. Wow. Um, I really want to wait to see what this looks like when it's dried up as well. This is going to look absolutely insane. Just look at that now. That's looking crazy as it is. Holy moly. All right, so now what I want to do is I want to go on this side and I want to get the orange in there. So it looks kind of like that maybe. Maybe it looks kind of cool. I can't wait to see what it actually looks like when it's actually spinning in the Beyblade Stadium. That will make it really, really awesome once we get it spinning. So that's, look at that already, guys. Let me just get the light shining from this angle right here. You guys can see that. Holy moly, that looks insane. Uh, I'm thinking to myself, what we should do is maybe get the, the green, even though the green still kind of looks yellow, man. Uh, get the green, put that there. It's really similar to the yellow, to be honest with you. And I'm thinking to myself, if we uh, maybe just lighten up I, I didn't wash my brush. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't wash your brush. You see that? This is why you always should wash your brush because you get the mix of the colors. You don't want to get the mix of the colors, man. All right. Back to the green. Let's do some of this. Hopefully, we don't mess this up too much and we can make it look cool because... Oh, oh look at that. Look at, th wow, this looks crazy. This looks, this actually looks kind of crazy, guys. This is absolutely epic. Like I said, a lot of you guys have been sending videos over of these epic Beyblade battles uh, in some glowing stadium, which is so cool. Look at that. Look how amazing that looks. That just looks crazy. I need to get a light from this angle right here. You guys can actually see that. Holy moly. Check that out. Yeah, that looks awesome, right, guys? That looks absolutely insane. I love it. Um, all right, so what we're going to do now is you can actually see this actually glows up as well, which is really cool. Does this one glow up? This one doesn't really glow up too well. I thought it would have, but it actually didn't. Now, realistically, we should let this paint dry, but we're not going to. We are just going to battle it, and as you guys can see, it is a little bit messy, but uh, <laughs> that's what happens when you mess with all of this paint. Holy mo- <laughs> This is crazy. All right, let me get the stadium, and we're going to do some battles now with our glowing up Beyblade. Okay, my dudes, who remembers this stadium? We call this the Stadium of Doom. This is actually really, really cool. All right, so we're going to do some test launching right now. Go and get our Valkyrie earlier. Look how cool that Valkyrie looks, man. That looks so cool. The light is coming from that side there, so I kind of want to get it there so you guys can actually see it. That looks so crazy, man. That looks really, really... Let me see if I can actually get the light from this angle as well makes it light up like absolutely craziness look at that Woo! i like it it looks awesome all right so let's spin this see what it looks like when it's spinning oh wow check that out the valkyrie is spinning right here guys you can definitely see the middle glowing up like absolutely crazy which is really really cool what i want to do is let's test out our one we just painted it's still it's yo it is still wet guys it is still wet but i want to see this man all right here we go look at that oh wow yo it's crazy there is some actually it's glowing man it is glowing like mad. Let's do a battle between these two Beyblades real quick. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, ho, ho. glowing is real, my dudes. Oh, we got to do that one again. We definitely need to battle that again. All right, here we go. Whoa, Power Lord glowing Beyblades, guys. There it is, Stadium of Doom. Glowing Beyblade battles and oh, oh, it goes down. That was absolutely 
epic. Look how cool. Let me get a zoom in, in on this. Guys, look how cool that looks. Holy moly. Let me see, actually, let me see if I can actually get this one here in a close-up of it spinning like that. All right, there we go. Oh, all the paint is actually coming off. I think Valkyrie knocked all of the paint off right there. <laughs> Yo, zooming in action. And look at that. It goes down. Yes, it does. Holy moly. All right, guys. So let me just get the light turned on right now. Okay, dudes, that is the lights all on. And here is the Beyblade, what it looks like uh, once the lights are on. Now, like I said, if you are going to use the paints or anything, you're definitely going to want to let it... Uh, you can't even see the paint on my hand. You're definitely going to want to let it dry. We didn't let it dry because just for the, the video, but uh, trust me, if you let it dry, it'll be all cool and it won't come off as well. This one looks crazy. I really like this one, especially the yellow in the middle. I maybe should have put a little bit more red on the outside here. That would have made it make look really, really insane. Maybe if we would have put red on this bit, it would have looked even more crazy. Holy moly, I just realized that. That would have looked so cool. Um, but once again, even these Beyblades here, these are the Pro Series ones you guys can see. They're normal looking, right? It's just once you get the uh, UV light on them, that's what, look at the, even there, even there. Once you do that, it just starts glowing up like crazy. I love it, man. Um, all right, guys, if you decide to do this to your Beyblades, Send over some pictures to Twitter. Link in the description below. Show me your creation with Beyblades. I want to see what you guys can create with uh, UV paints. And maybe if you can do a uh, light on it or something. If you guys got that, let me know. I know Hasbro has brought out a stadium. Well, I think Hasbro has brought out a stadium with UV lights in it, which is absolutely epic. The videos I've seen look so cool. Um, I can't wait if that is a release to actually get one of them stadiums because that's going to be absolutely insane. And like I said before as well, guys, you can just see like this Beyblade right here. It's green, but it glows up with the UV light. Can't really see it because the light is on. Once the lights are off, it looks absolutely insane. Normal green Beyblade into a bright glowing yellow Beyblade looks insane. But all right, guys, until then, we'll see you in the next episode, my dudes.